you so much, Katlejo and Andrea, for that delicious, healthy breakfast. Now, it is, of course, Mother's Day, and one mother and son team are making serious waves in the movie industry with a short film they put together called Freedom Road. It's the winner of the best international film at the 2013 168 Film Festival in Los Angeles. It's a heartbreaking tale of redemption centered on true events at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Here's a quick look. I would like to uh, apply for amnesty uh, for, to this commission and once again I, I would like to say I, I'm very sorry. Case 244, the disappearance of Mr. Tepiso Clamini from Umtata. <laughs> According to my knowledge, Mr. Kamini was an enemy of the state and a uh, threat to the status quo of the South African government of the time. Please, Mrs. Kamini, please, just tell me what I can do. There is nothing you can do. Absolutely incredible. And here we have the duo that's responsible for this masterpiece, Diane and Shane Vermoet. And Diane being the producer and Shane the director. Guys, it's incredible to have you in studio. Also so proud that you guys on a South African level flying this flag on an international scale. I mean, you guys must be beaming with pride, pride at the moment, right? <laughs> Yeah, hey, good morning. Thank you so much for having us. Oh, such a pleasure. We'll Once be again, beaming a bit more if it is a bit later. Oh, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We'll give you a cup of coffee afterwards and you'll be sorted. But thank you so much for coming in, even though it is really early. And um, I'm sure you have big plans for this weekend, Mother's Day coming up yeah, as well. Huge. Eh? Yeah, we'll talk <laughs> about this. Nothing is there the year for me. <laughs> But uh, Diane, let's talk about this movie. Yes. I mean, obviously in light of the, 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 the elections that took place, you guys did vote? Yes. Say yes, thumbs up, okay. So in, li in light of the elections, it really shows how far we've come. Thumbs up, sure, SA, I like <laughs> it. How far we've come as a country, where we've been and where we are today. Mm -hmm. Quickly give us a bit of background. Uh, we saw the short clip, mm -hmm. but what is this movie about? I think um, when we were commissioned to do the story, we really have a desire as Media Village Productions, our production company, to tell South African stories. And at mm. the heart, we've always looked for those redemptive stories, stories Stories that show who we are as an African people, what our story is, where we can still go. So part of um, the, the verse that we had was to look at what it is that some people think they can buy atonement and forgiveness with each other. And, um, and our character was able to go and to realize that there was nothing he could do. And, and I see the, the young son, he's still bitch and twisted because Mr. Swanepoel had murdered his father. And some of those horrific stories that came out of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And as we prepared, we listened to a lot of those stories. And it was so interesting that some of the people on our staff, some of the younger generation, they didn't even know those stories yeah. anymore. And when we started talking, they were going, did that really happen? Mm -hmm. and, and we had to keep pulling our young guys back saying, these are the stories of our past. And the staff and the crew that acted in it, Matthew, uh, Mama Sylvia, they all kept saying, thank you for keeping the African story alive. So, mm -hmm. so for us, it was tapping into part of our history, but mm -hmm. telling it in a redemptive, positive way. Mm -hmm because we've still got a great story to tell. We do, and it's so nice to see that this story was so touching and resonated with so many people, mm. I mean, across the world, mm. let alone South Africa. Mm. Now, Shane, I want to ask you, I mean, the 160 hour, or 160 film festival, 68 film festival, what exactly is it, how does it work? What was, what was the approach to it? So it works by every year they have a theme, so an overall arching theme, and so for last year that theme was atonement. Mm -hmm. um, and then based on that, 10 days before production starts, they give you a verse you need to base it on. Because um, it's a Christian-based festival mm. in America. Uh, so they give you a verse, and we got our verse, and then you've got 10 days for all your pre-prod, which actually, <laughs> it actually helps a lot to do pre-prod then. Uh, so 10 days, and then um, exactly a week for production. So filming and editing, wow. and then mm -hmm. uploading, which the African mm. internet, you know, that can take a whole week to upload. That exactly. can be the most stressful thing. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we, we ended up making it in time, and I think what helps a lot with the, um, with the one week to produce it is that 10 days you have. I mean, if you plan really well in those 10 days, I mean, it's all, mm. you know, all about pre-production. And if you plan well in those 10 days, I mean, we got reasonable sleep and we came up with yeah. a, a decent product in the end or something we were happy with. Yeah. So um, obviously right at the end, you think you're going well and you're like, oh yeah, day one and two of uh, production and then the first two days of editing, you're working really hard. You're like, oh look, it's kind yeah, of slack off. Time. We do have time to start slacking off and then 
two hours before you need to upload, you're like, oh, we still got four hours of work. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. But it, is, so but it, it got up there just in time. High pressure good. environment. Now, I want to I want to ask because I know that, you know, working with families sometimes can cause a bit of ructions, a little bit of tempers flying around. What was it like working together as a mother and son duo? You wanna... I'll answer it. <laughs> no, I think it's been lovely working with Shane. I think I've seen him um, grow up in a family where we've always loved story. I think um, he trained at Media Village Training with us. So I, as a mother, I've watched him move into his own space as a young director. When we were in LA, um, Los Angeles, a lot of people were saying, who's this young guy? You know, um, He's so young. There were quite a well, lot of well-known directors that were, had entered the competition. And when Shane went forward, it was like this. He looks a lot younger than he is. And so people going, <laughs> who's this? You know, And I think for me, that's really nice. That's I think uh, seeing my son find his place as a yeah. storyteller, as a director is good. Um, we don't often have tempers flying. I think sometimes yeah. there's a non-verbal thing that happens. Oh, I see. But yeah. we've never really got mad at each other. I think we've kind of respect each other's space and yeah. we I think do it's well good on it. Obviously on a shoot too and you know, producer director and they can be um, and generally most people would step down, but I think you can take a little bit further when it's your mother. So you can have disagreements and then, you know, sometimes get your way, other times don't. Mm. But I'll take it further with my mm. mother than I would with an with an outside producer. Yeah. And I think that that friction being able to push further than you normally would can yeah. end up getting a better result in the end. Yeah. So I think it's challenging at times, but it's also fun. Because at the end of the day, you can then be like, okay, let's chat about it. With a normal producer, walk away, and like, I'm never mm. working with that person again. <laughs> exactly. Know? Well, it definitely seemed that there's a mutual respect between the two of you. Yeah. You really understand each other as well. Just quickly, where can people see Freedom Road for those who haven't seen it yet? Um, you can check it on the Facebook page. If you go, obviously, facebook.com, just think it's like MySpace, but it's online. Yeah. Perfect, cool. Cool. <laughs> guys. Um, so on Facebook, and it's Facebook slash Freedom Road, and the trailer's up there, production stills, everything's there. We've just heard we just were nominated for the Durban Film Festival, and last week we won a Chicago Film Festival. I mean, we were nominated. And um, at Gutenberg, a Sweden Film Festival, Shane was nominated for Best Director again. Wow. So it's, it's making inroads, and it's almost a year later, which was also interesting. We've, it was a year, yes. and now suddenly we're having all these... Wow, so that is fantastic, guys. Thank you so much. And it's, I'll say it once again, flying the South African flag really, really high. Keep an eye on these two guys. I'm sure there's lots more to come. Of course, Freedom Road, one of the best international film at the 168th Film Festival in Los Angeles. A fantastic achievement.